Hi. 2010 is coming to an end very quickly. And I'm just very excited to look forward to a, a fresh start for a new exciting journey in 2011. When you and I together, as we lead our churches and members of all New Life churches, we will step into the reality of what the Lord spoke to me about five years ago. Five years ago, the Lord spoke to me as clearly as anything else that, and anything that I could ever think of. He said to me that the movement for the kingdom of heaven to come upon earth. Ever since then, I have been meditating, I've been thinking, I have been working with this thought. It's no wonder that Joshua was told by the Lord, he says, if you know God's word and meditate on God's word day and night, God's promise to him was, you'll be strong, you'll be very courageous, and you will find good success. And I believe that we are on the brink of this strong, bonus, courageous, and success. Because it's God's desire for you and your family and all your churches to come into the place of success and, and, and influence that will cause the impact of heaven upon the earth to arrive at your territory and your family. You know, the Lord has been teaching me this process of transformation. And in these last five years, the thoughts about the kingdom of heaven upon the earth has actually changed my life. As I look through it, I begin to experience the reality of this simple process that actually developed and renewed my mind. It started with an information. But information just by itself is just like any cliche and slogan that we may be hanging on the wall and so on. It doesn't really move a thing and change anything. But you know what? When information becomes a revelation to you, sparks of faith actually comes forth. But even then, that's not enough because that those revelation must come to a place whereby you can actually sense the Holy Spirit is using the Word of God to release into you an impartation a breath of God's life on the word that God has given you. And with that, your life will be transformed. Information, revelation, impartation to transformation. And I believe that these are things that the Lord has been teaching me. And you know what? This particular year, it's going to be your year. It's going to be my year, whereby we're going to see transformation unto the goodness and the blessings of God with heaven upon the earth in ways that we might not have ever experienced before. You know what? When God wants to inspire something, it only takes one moment. And that moment could be on the first Sunday of 2011. When God meets you on that one moment, when God meets your family on that one moment, when God meets your relatives and the friends and the families that you bring to church on that particular Sunday, that one moment can change their lives for good. Because when God meets us in that one moment of impartation, transformation takes place, you know what? Something good will happen from that time onwards, then, then. You know, I'm just so excited about all these things that the Lord has been showing me over these years. And uh, it all started with what we have begun in this journey with 2010 when the Lord told me that let's make sure that our people actually understand, experience and step into the reality of God's love. Because God's love is the foundation of faith to receive heaven upon the earth. My brothers and sisters and friends, I want to see you on this particular day the most significant day of 2011, the first Sunday of the year. God bless you and I'll see you. Amen.